I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resource Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the chinkapin oak. Chinkapin oak, Quercus muhlenbergii, is a member of the white oak group. It is sometimes called yellow chestnut oak, rock oak, or yellow oak. Sometimes you might see the name spelled C-H-I-N-Q-U-A-P-I-N, which is also another acceptable spelling of chinkapin. It is a medium-sized tree that typically grows 40 to 60 feet tall with diameters between 24 and 36 inches. However, on exceptional sites, it can grow up to 90 to 120 feet tall, especially in the Ohio Valley. It is considered shade intolerant, even though young seedlings appear to start out as exhibiting some shade tolerance. The acorns are a favorite for a variety of wildlife. Chinkapin oak grows across portions of the eastern and midwestern United States from New England to northeast Mexico. It grows in alkaline soils on limestone outcrops and well-drained slopes. At a glance, it might be confused with chestnut oak, swamp white oak, swamp chestnut oak, and dwarf chinkapin oak. Chinkapin oak is a deciduous tree with alternately arranged chestnut-like leaves, as you can see in the photo here. The leaf form is simple, which means it's made up of one blade. And the leaves are usually between four to seven inches long, and they're typically oblong to obovate in shape. And they have coarsely serrated or toothed margins, and each tooth appears to be tipped with a small gland or callus. They are dark and sometimes shiny on this upper surface and much paler below, and sometimes the underside is somewhat hairy. The fall color ranges from yellow to orangish to brown. It really makes a handsome landscape tree. Chinkapin oak is monoecious, which means the tree is made up of both male and female flowers. The male flower is yellow-green, which is like a three to four inch long catkin. And the female flower is very small and it is in the current year's leaf axis, and they typically are green to reddish in color. The flowers emerge with the leaves and they are wind pollinated. The fruit of chinkapin is an acorn that's born either singly or in pairs. The acorn's usually about a half an inch to one inch long and it has a bowl shaped cap that covers about a third of the acorn. The acorn cap has tattered fringes around all the way around the margins. The acorns ripen to a dark brown between September and October. The acorns mature in one growing season as with other white oaks, and they are dispersed by gravity, birds, and rodents, and germinate soon after falling. Even though animals are good dispersal agents, they also consume many of the sweet acorns. Acorn production usually begins around 20 years of age with best production on trees greater than 20 inches in diameter. And good seed crops vary from year to year. A cold or wet weather during flowering season in the spring can result in poor seed production. Chinkapin oak is an important wildlife tree. It is browsed by deer and rabbits and beaver who feed on the bark and the twigs. The sweet, high quality acorns are a dependable food source for mice, squirrels, voles, and other mammals such as deer and black bear. The acorns are particularly important food for red-headed and red-bellied woodpeckers, northern bobwhites, and blue jays. And numerous other bird species consume the acorns, including rough grouse, wild turkey, crow, northern flicker, and the brown thrasher. The National Wildlife Federation consider oak as one of the top 10 trees for wildlife because they help wildlife grow. Oaks serve as a host tree for more than 500 different Lepidopteran larvae, including dagger moss and the giant silk moth. These larvae, in turn, feed the seasonal migratory songbirds, such as our warblers. These large trees also provide critical nesting habitat for many of our cavity nesters, including the white-breasted nuthatch. The oaks provide good cover for a variety of mammals as well because the leaves typically persist longer than other plant associates. The bark of the chinkapin oak is relatively thin, light gray, rough, and flaky. The wood of chinkapin oak is hard, heavy, strong, and durable. The sapwood is pale, and the heartwood is a dark brown. Chinkapin oak falls into the white oak group and shares many of the same traits as white oak, Quercus alba. Chinkapin oak is used for saw timber where it grows in abundance. It's also used for cabinetry, furniture, pallets, and railroad ties. It also makes excellent firewood. 
The national champion Chinka Pin Oak is in Rockingham, Virginia. It's 287 inches in circumference, 66 feet tall with a 113 foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion Chinka Pin Oak was at one time the national champion. It was located in Harrison County at Griffith Woods Wildlife Management Area. It was 309 inches in circumference, 69 feet tall with a 70 foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest Champion Tree Register or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about Chinka Pin Oak. The acorns are edible and sweet when they're roasted, and they were an important food source for Native Americans. Chinkapin oak is noted historically for its role in fueling steamships along the Ohio River. The durable wood made excellent fences, and when those farms fell by the wayside, the wooden fences were collected and placed on the riverbank to sell to the passing engineers of the steamships. Chinkapin oak's scientific species name, Muhlenbergii, honors the Pennsylvania minister and botanist Gottlieb Muhlenberg. Thank you for joining me today to learn about the Chinkapin Oak, and I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy this outstanding oak.